Hi, crafty friends. I am back with a unboxing uh, for my challenge. I just got this in the mail yesterday from Lori, and I don't know if I'm who she is on YouTube. I forgot to ask her when she first messaged me. Um, but anyway, I will, once I hear from her, I will get um, her channel on in the description so you can follow her. So um, thank you, Lori. I had to show, um, I thought this was a neat, a great idea. It says happy mail from, and then obviously who it's from, and then please rush this happy mail too. And, I'll, and I thought that was just a nice, um, little touch she did. I did not open this. Sorry about the noise. I'm kind of quiet because it's four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and if you don't know about my challenge, I'm having a challenge. Um, my goal was to go reach 2,000 subbies, but I changed it because <laughs> I just felt like it wasn't I was, it was going to be maybe a year before I reached my goal. I'm not on social media, so that's, um, and it's probably difficult to get those numbers in, but I'm at 1,824, I believe. Um, here's a cute little card. I love that bird. Okay, thank you, Lori, for sending this in. And she's got some pretty tissue here. Definitely reuse that. Oh, really pretty. Gorgeous. And I will re reuse that box. <laughs> I have boxes crazy, but you know, you'll always need that one size that you don't use throughout. <laughs> so I keep boxes too. So I don't know. Let's start with the um, dangle here. Really, I love this paper collection. Oops, it was upside down. So, um, she has a bow here with some tool, and then um, she decorated the box. She even did the sides. I don't, when I have dies like this, I don't usually do the sides because it's just too much. <laughs> I'm kind of that crazy crafter that doesn't really like to do that detail, but I love, I need to start doing that because it just adds that extra touch and then she actually did so on the sides here and on the panel like I said I want to get my sewing machine out but I would have to clear my whole desk and then do it every time so I'm not sure um wow this thing I love this dangle so pretty and I love how you put these on uh, the little tassels I have some of those I don't I just don't know how to begin with the dangles <laughs> um, and then she's got a um, bow here really super pretty thank you Lori I know it takes time to create these so I appreciate it and next I just made one of these, but it's a little bit bigger. These are so cute. 
Let me make sure the address isn't on here. Okay, she. I'll cover up her email because I don't know if she wants that on here, but she is on YouTube. And then um, Lori For Fortini is her uh, YouTube channel. And on, on Instagram, it's Peonies and Pears, which I love peonies. One of my favorite flowers. And this is what this is a sequence mix. She has some seam binding on here. She has a little spoon, cute little spoon. I really love the colors you chose. Pastels are my thing. <laughs> but I, you know, I do work with other collections. It's just I I just love pastel and pink. And then here, I don't know if she made these flowers really super tiny. And I love tiny flowers, but I haven't made any. Um, I love this butterfly. I love anything butterflies also. Let's open this up. Oh, and look at the detail. I don't know if you can see. She layered that twice. And then she did sew on there. And then here is, she has a uh, vellum flower on here with some layers of gold. And then another layer of the center of the flower. I love that. I just want to see what it looks like. You can kind of see, oh, I guess it's really pretty mix. Thank you, Lori. And then here is a box. It says, be happy. really I'm wondering if um, this was like a digital cut um, printout and then here's the inside I love the gold foil um, so she's got some leaves here she's got a vellum leaf in between I love that look and then um, a doily in the background and then a um, handmade flower and I love the colors you chose I you know I'm always like not scared to use black but I don't like using black but I love that touch with it it just gives it that pop and um, and then I love that butterfly here's a mem excuse me <laughs> all of a sudden I feel tired. Um, here is a memory dex card and she's got her little uh, label in the back and then it says create every day which I try to do but some days I just don't know what to create if I'm not in a swap or I don't make handmade cards <laughs> um, because I'm not on social media, I used to um, join a lot of mixed media challenges. I That was something I looked forward to all the time. Um, but anyway, I, you know, I have my Rene Bouquet's uh, design team that I do. Um, and that's about it. Anyway, um, she uses vellum in the back here with some leaves and then a die cut on top and then a butterfly cut out and then some type of I guess rhinestones or dots some type of dot in I don't know what they are I can't really tell but it adds a nice touch here a little bit of sparkle and then I need to get this die 
Um, I keep on looking at it and uh, it's one of those ruffled dies and um, I really love that. And then she's got some um, gold thread here, which I love to add to my projects. Really, that is really gorgeous. And then here we have these, and I need to use this butterfly die. Um, so here's a bag topper, and she did some sewing in the back. And it, um, I do, I think I have this die. Yeah, I, actually I do. Um, she's got a ruffle in the back, and then it says from the heart, and she's got some tool in the back. I could reuse that. And then some gorgeous shaker butterflies. And I'm pretty sure it's a, you know, you can make it into a bag topper, but, you know, when I would, if I was to make it, I probably wouldn't do the bag topper. Beautiful. And then, excuse me, my, I can't quit yawning. Um, I have this, or a similar die. Um, I just got so a I love that cuteness of it. Uh, she layered the bow with two different ones, it looks like, or maybe even three. Um, she has, it says good things here. And then she did some sewing. And I love that paper. It's really pretty. I have so many papers I need to use in, in my stash, so... That's re here's the back here. I could reuse that. And then here's some handmade flowers. Really, really beautiful. I love the, you know, like I keep saying, I love your color choice here. Um, lots of layering. And then I'm not sure if it's a, what kind of, um, center piece if it's like a foam anyway I don't know where you got that from but I love that touch of it so again thank you again Lori I'm gonna check on your YouTube channel right now and that way I am because I don't know if I'm fall I don't know I didn't really know I have a couple Lori's that I've seen comment so or not comment because I would know your <laughs> know your YouTube channel by then but anyway I don't know where this came from maybe it came off the I'll find where it came off and see if I can put it back on um, but anyway thank you so much Lori I really appreciate you taking the time to create this for my challenge and you all still have time to send something in um, I will leave the link in the description and I hope you're having a fun and happy day. <laughs> Talk to you soon and have a great weekend. Bye.